Okay. Um, that. Now let's see. I guess the event isn't done. Hasn't been fully unlocked so far. So I'm gonna continue with the please. world quests. Uh, I suppose there's one near that. Uh, Something you wish to report? Go on. You have my undivided attention. Where? No, I'm not sure it was that good to teleport. I'm still. I still had to walk there. Uh, where would that thing be? Isn't there a quest for to be on here? Let me check the map. We are going in this area, this corner of the city. Because there is a quest mark there. Ah, it's here, yeah. Okay, I thought there would be some person around here. Crafting mage. Uh. Water and earth, wind and fire, craft for me what a two I desire. Oh wait, the crafting bench usually says that thing? And it's a time of hearing things or did the crafting bench just sneeze? Water in earth, wind and fire, crash for me what I desire. Back to normal now, I guess. Um, well, things we were better off not using these weird crafting benchings. So, you won't be needing it then. In that case, don't mind me. But this one's really odd and stuff. What do you mean? Don't they all look like this? Don't worry, I won't be too long. The young lady submits the materials required by the recipe, and you exchange some words while the potions are being synthesized. You learn her name, Sumac, and learn that this is her first time at the Stadium of the Sacred Flame. Mm, see, nothing wrong with that at all. Alright, maybe even crashing benches can feel under the water sometimes. Okay, but now I'm curious, how do they speak? Um, that's a good one. Paimon stories and humans can be off their game, sure, but a crafting bench is just an object. Yeah, speaking of which, oh, would you two have some time for a friendly sparring match? I'd like to test the potion I just made. It's said to help with adjusting your current state. If it works, give me the recipe, would you? I fear the endless battles have already worn away at my flesh and soul. No, I want a recipe. No problem. I know a nice clearing near the stadium. We only need to test our, our the potions, so it shouldn't take too much of your time. What do you say? As long as it's quick. Uh, I knew you'd be up for it. Let's go then. The wooden crate down. Two. Uh. Okay, we can break that one. Where oh, did I start a quest? Oh, sure. Case of the crashing bench. Okay, if this one doesn't take too long, I'll go to the other quest that it's most at. It's been a bit annoying to walk further to get to the wolf. Hmm. 
Mm, this place isn't half bad, huh? Shall we, we get right to it? Bring it on. I was waiting for her to say that. Alright, let's finish this fight. I'm gonna fight you, Actually, we need some of those woods here. First time far from home. Okay, we didn't end her life. I mean, I know we want to kill her, but I thought we would drain all her health bar. Hey, you sure okay? You started acting all weird the second you ingested it. Alright, so... Does it hurt? Stop talking for now, just get some rest. So incredibly effective at adjusting one's state. Seriously, that's not the time for joking. Come on, let's get her somewhere she can be treated. Stat. It is my factory stadium. I have her properly treated. What was the sound effect? Thank you, Inus Paimon. I feel much better now. Oh, Paimon is glad you're okay. You scared the stuffing out of us. Uh, it could have been a tricky misunderstanding to clear up. Exactly, now that Pyle thinks about it, uh, if that had been some kind of poison, we might be taken for murderers. Oh, it's fine, not to brag or anything, but I've been in superb health since I was little. Well, I can count the number of times I've fallen sick in one hand. This is no biggie. Although stone can shatter any obstacle, poison isn't exactly a common cold. True enough. So I say the formula for the potion was fine. It certainly wasn't a poison at any rate. Uh, you mean you got it from a trusted source? Uh, no, I bought it from a merchant named Song Koyok. Uh, he only comes out after sunset, and it just happened to be night when I ran to him. How lucky! Lucky? That sounds super suspicious. You totally got scammed. We've gotta find the liar and set this, his pants on fire. There's no need for that, really. I trust my eye for people. He's no charlatan. Uh, could it really be that the crouching mage is having an off day? There's a good chance of that. That being the crouching mage, I mean. Uh, you haven't been the only victim thus far. Mr. Humpback, thanks, thanks for your help earlier. Is this? No sweat. Treating those uh, who are injured is one of my duties. Regarding the crafting bench, have you ever heard about the locusts? First time for me. Oh yeah, sure. There, are the who's in the wars doing the what seats? Yes. No, first time for me. <coughs> it's fine. You've never heard of them. We logistics people have never really cared about being praised or being recognized, like true warriors. As far as we're concerned, our, ours is still honorable work. In the past, the Hulk Queens, and the faction I belong to, has always been in charge of the stadium's various facilities. Rule by sorts, we are always doing our best to do our part. But we're, we've not had many new members. Uh, we've not had many new members have joined in recent years. We've got experience on our side, but even the best can be everywhere at once when there's so much to do. Can't say we made no mistakes either. Eventually, after taking the opinions of various parties into account, the Speaker's Chamber ruled that we should regularly hold a tournament in which all factions could participate. The winners would earn the right to care about our noble work. We are unfortunately beaten and have temporarily lost that honor. Our successors were the Locusts. They run the show quite differently. If they'd gone and given the work their all, uh, I have no gripes, but am I and I am putting this as generously as possible. 
I've never seen a bunch of clouds as hellbent on profit as they are. And in the latest tournament, we Hawkwings encountered an unusually high number of accidents, hamstringing our performance. And many were linked using alchemical solutions, alchemical potions. Uh, just, just like what happened to Samak. I've been thinking that they've done something to the crafting bench before they were just targeting us Hawkwings, but now before they were just uh, okay but now others have got involved they've gone way over the line mm, you say that but uh, you say that but under this people pack of scanners no, what's the but they were going to we've only just heard of these factions it does sound like you got some serious beef huh but yeah, the evidence even the speaker's chamber has its hand tied. It's not my fault, if only I'd been more vigilant. The reason we missed out on collecting hard evidence before is because I never imagined they stood so, to such low down, no good dirty tricks. I know this sounds crass, but thanks to Samak's injury, we now have a chance to investigate this affair. You are an outsider, a third party to this whole conflict. With you as our witnesses, we'll be able to expose the locks perfectly, not just for our sakes, but for everyone's. I get where Mr. Humpack's coming from. If the, if the factions in charge of public amenities are up to no good, we are all in trouble. My, but my testimony alone won't cut it, will it? If we go back now and check out the crafting bench out, it's already too late. The locks are tri tricky bunch. Uh, it won't it won't be that easy to unmask them. To be honest, the fact that an outsider, the fact that an outsider to our conflict was injured was a happy accident. Whatever the case, there is no doubt that any trace of temper will have been scrambled clean by the time we investigate the crafting bench. Uh, I seem intimately familiar with how the locks operate. Of course, they are rivals, the ones who stole our glory from us. Anyway, since there is no tournament on today, I am going to collect testimony from some previous victims. Would you two mind coming along? Oh boy, is that drudgery I smell? Uh, first, some um, makes drudgery quite terrible. Oh. You'll be rewarded generously, at least I guarantee. Yes, we can refuse requests for help, can we? You're us here first, Mac. We'll meet up with you again once we have the evidence we need. Alright. Sorry for dragging you two into this. Don't say that. If you had to blame someone, then uh, blame the locusts. Yeah, so we're doing this for the good of, of everyone. That's right. What we do, uh, we do for the benefit of all. And uh, if it's a good thing, and it is a good thing indeed. Anyway, no time to lose. Let's go down to the outdoor training grounds and collect some testing. Mm, do you think I get beaten as soon as I arrive at the stadium? This star is gonna be a riot for my friends back home. Uh, being a bit of a joke amongst friends is worth it sometimes. Uh, must be sad to have your friends laugh at you. Uh, no, it depends. She's taking that. Oh, alright. I think so too. My friends call it a kind of unhealthy masochism. Though, but I don't think my health has been negatively affected, so I'm probably fine. Is it saddening? You think so? I don't think they mean any harm. Uh, it was pretty funny scene at any rate. I wouldn't mind if you liked it too. So, where? Mm. Uh, so there's some Yoshis around for me to climb that easily. There. 
Okay, don't really need to fight. Let's open some questions. Ogun. Hey Ogun, it's been a while. You still remember the Cartoon Bench instant? Just wanted to hear what you have to say about that. Seriously, you're still hung up about that? What's the point? Don't you worry, I've got my ways. Is your way relying on outsider to interfere? And here we see the saint in its natural habitat. It's laying a cause, so the foe need not. Uh, could you consider me a little enforcement instead? The first one. Sorry, I know we're not making the best account of ourselves. Outsider you are, and outsider you remain, however. Bless my train, prove yourself worthy of my trust. Ask again after that, and you'll get your answers. Wait, aren't we here to take testimonies? How did this turn into a test of strength? Sorry, can't help you there. Uh, we Hawkwings have traditionally prized strength above all else, and Ogons the arch conservative, even by our conservative standards. Better to just take his challenge rather than waste our, your breath. I have faith in your abilities. You've never seen me do anything. Okay then. And I'm thinking over, ready to accept my challenge, bring it on. That. Oh. Ah, I thought the camera would move again. Where now? Where should now? Damn this camera is stuck. It's not even pointing to the stuff. And why is it so freaking slow? Uh Where is this stuff supposed to spawn? It's the same ones we're spawning. Okay, other times I had to do something like that. It was kind of a path that I had to follow. Much obliged then. Uh, well, how was that? Strong enough for you? Mm, diamond in the rough, but a diamond not less. What do you want to know? As agreed, Ogon tells of his previous ordeal, sparing no detail, Humpback in turn records the testimony as given. Uh, but uh, what's the use of taking all this testimony. It's a waste of time. There's no warrior who gives up before battle is joined. I will give it my all, regardless of what you say. Suit yourself then. Mm, how can we read that? This testimony was clearly this information at the time that was used in purpose in the fixed condition. 
And for the training, it should do. Okay, this is just regular talk you, you give us. What are you doing here? I'm a coach already developing training regiments. I don't have much else to do. Okay. Ah. There are here, so. Pampa. Pampa, we're here about. Oh, I've been waiting. I uh, heard you all just fine. I reckon I'd be next. Just didn't expect to see through one of Ogon's old Grumberg lectures first. Nice, that saved us the trouble of explaining. You can start in time, we'll write it all down. Oh, no need to be hasty. Pass my training, prove yourself worth of trust, and ask again after that, and you'll get your answers. This again? Why? Uh, don't you think you'll learn a lot of just by watching others overcome obstacles? And if you don't think so, I sure do. As such, I too would like a chance to learn from you. In return for my testimony, you can't let Ogun monopolize all the fun like that, no can we? Is that how this works? Of course, well would it be? If you're willing, let's start now. The sooner the better. It's not over yet, is it? I'm keeping track of time. I'm kind of you. Okay. That's cool. Amazing, simply amazing. It'll get all that. There's there'll be a test later. We can get down to business now, right? No. Wait, we're really trying to teach him. We were here to collect testimony, you know. Uh, of course we can. I'm an open word. I'll tell you all I know. Pampa vividly recounts the mishap he encountered before, which Humpback records in a more concise form. Thank you for your testimony. With this, we are one solid step closer to reclaiming the honor that is rightfully ours. Really, he sure did a great job telling the story, but as far as how useful he will be. Hey now, and that's where you're mistaken, little miss. Form is about the quorum, and the quorum is crucial, you hear? Crucial. But in case you've never heard, stay a while and listen. Uh, can we just go now? Then it's time we wait and find Anella. She should be with the people of the springs at this time. But before that, we follow Humpback to a secluded spot. Yeah, we'll add those two together and the other one will be further. Now, what's without the mystery? Well, this friend is special. Oh. Sorry for the wait, Tozan, about the thing we agreed on earlier. Well, I'm I'm here now, aren't I? Sure was a pain in the neck to squirrel these things out under the nose of my faction, faction mates. So, my thanks. I'm afraid we'll, we'll have need of you in the future too. Oh, come on. This for everyone's benefit, isn't it? Yes, indeed it is. You're a good fellow, worth your res respect. Until you showed up, I never had thought that a locust would go up against their own faction's interests. And to be honest, it breaks my heart to know that some of us have sunk to such uh, contemptible conduct. And yet, as a locust, it would be difficult for me to change the status quo, so some external help is quite welcome indeed. Wait, so you're helping the Hawkwings on the slide, then? Wouldn't it make you a traitor? Uh, why put in such harsh terms? Our goal is not aligned to expose evildoers and see them punished. 
Well then, the hour grows late, so I'll be taking my leave. If you need anything else, just contact me. Good luck, luck to you. Does only this start a sound. Uh, so, what he gave you was... Intel on the locusts. Of course, you'll be butter short testimony all the more. Honestly, I'm glad to know that reasonable people like those still exist in that swarm of locusts. Alright, let's keep gathering evidence. We can let this his goodwill go to waste. We'll find an all over with the people of the springs. Uh, it's worth getting angry over, honestly. What's wrong? Uh, you really listen, that means a lot. Our little group broke up, you know. Uh, and it actually been a while, but then suddenly an old friend came knocking. Why else would someone suddenly connect out of the blue unless they needed to borrow some money? Anyway, since we were once pretty tight buddies, I gotta lend him at least a little bit, yeah? But oh no, this guy not only did he not say thanks, he even told me, told me off for not giving him enough. He even said something about how after the Hawkins won back the rightful place, he gave me back double, blah blah. Not sure if he's just big headed or... Anyway, I'm an adult and generous to boot, so I said you help as much as I could. I practically want to give myself a medal. Okay, and... there. Let's mark those two chests. Finally, sure. mm. Lisa Mello, uh, would you reconsider the matter I wrote you about? Thicker than a tick you are, chasing me all the way here? Well, what's in it for me? I mean, you are a member of the Hawkwings. I was. I may be a good swimmer, but that doesn't mean I'll stay on board your sinking ship. Uh, could you at least provide some testimony? I drown myself in the pot of trouble you're brewing. Uh, this feels like a waste of time. We should just go back and look for some. Uh, well, well, who are these two little cuties? How you hired them back? Uh, you could say that. Good. I changed my mind. Youngsters with potential are just my gem. How about this little lad? If you pass my test, I'll consider giving you a statement after all. Got a minute. Color me shocked and surprised. A test. Guess they really are part of this infection, huh? Uh, very good. Shall we begin? Um, bring it on. Let's make some preparations. Oh, let bring it on. Thanks for hard hard work. Uh, give it a halfway and a good habit. You sure don't want to hang up a bit? Uh, I can get this one. Hey. Ripple not here, me here. Okay, 
Так. You're quite the budding talent, for sure, you know that. You know what? Forget Humpack. Why don't you join up with me instead, lad? Sounds good, let's talk terms and compensations. No thanks, I still got tons of commissions in my docket. Not tons, but a few. Let's talk terms and compensations. Hey, let's get back on top, shall we? Why isn't Paimon wanting to talk money? Ooh, we're here to get her testimony, you know? Nah, uh, that how it is, shame. But I did agree, so... Anella lazily relates her unpleasant encounter while Humpback painted down faithfully in its entirety. That should be our testimony squared away. Are you really not coming back, Anella? Should we succeed this time? You can invite me after the fact. You, you should know I can't stand men who are clean despite being total failures. Or do you? Of course, you kids are a different story. Winter's always open to you, and if you'd rather take this to a hot spring. Uh, we're busy right now. Bye. I'm glad that the testimony shouldn't we get back to stay and look for some. Uh, let me see the other one here. Uh, the purchase invoice. I mean, the item is the only reason uh, for quantity of the Loach Pearl purchase seems out of place. Mm. Hmm, Sorsal's Keeper again? What's wrong with Sorsal's Keeper? Nothing really, it's fine, but no matter how good it is, you can't just keep eating the same thing day after day, can you? Though, on the other hand, Ripple's been getting a bit budgy lately, hasn't he? Uh, neither his training nor his caloric intake have changed. So, are you called Ripple? Uh, back there. No, let's go outside. We're back, Sumac. We start to keep waiting. Hey there. You were gone a pretty long time, to be honest. Did the testimony gathering not go so well? Well, the Hawk Queens have some really weird rules. We had to pass tests before they talked to us. The reason they gave were all over the place. If we got a certificate for every test we passed, Paimo would totally be a master already. Yeah, we're definitely due for title upgrade. I see, shame I wasn't there to see everything go down then. Bet I have become a skilled fighter uh, in my own right by now. You're passionate about martial training, aren't you? Still, but I was not sure the Hawkwind's methods would be for you. Speaking of which, Humpack, it seems like you aren't exactly everyone's favorite fellow. Oh, weren't you all companions once? Uh, sorry, did something happen? Well, they are kinda detached. Like they don't care about what you're doing, or maybe they don't approve. It's so strange. Isn't exposing wrongdoing and punishing perpetrators the right thing to do? Why would they act like that? I'm afraid that the Hawkwings being scared like so many grains of sand is a disgrace that must bear responsibility for, for as one of its members. Still, I hope that these are changed to reunite. I'll do anything to regain our honor. I mean, don't they say that the truth of win winds up in the custody of the few? I won't throw in the towel just because I'm in the minority. I heard that one before, I'm not sure I did. You could always be the minority because you're mistaken, you know? Well, the truth will be revealed soon, won't it? The speaker's chamber will judge based on the evidence both parties provide, so please i like to ask you to be present as witness. Uh, are you sure my testimony will be valid? Maybe I just had an accident that was totally unrelated to the locusts. Also, couldn't you just get Samak to take the stand? What, uh, what will we be there for? 
though all your testimonies are is absolutely necessary. Don't worry, I won't ask you to act against your convictions or involve you into anything unjust. Just tell the truth. That'll do. Mm, well, you did help me when I was injured earlier, Mr. Humpback, so I owe you that much. It, is it really necessary? Oh, well, might as well help get to the bottom of this. Huh? Thank you all. In any case, let us meet at the outside training grounds in two days. Yeah, but we did see the the thing here not working properly. Hey, in the banished. Isn't that thing supposed to be here for anybody to use? Don't we have to go to the speaker's chamber to report that? people uh, that's quite a crowd Paimon's getting a bit nervous uh, hey there Ines, Paimon Puma, there you are, how are you feeling? great, thanks to you actually I ended up going to other crafting mansions to try the potion wow, you've got guts it seems like the formula's fine so yeah, I uh, told you I've got a good eye the problem must have been with the crafting bench then. Hey look, we should be starting soon. See that person in the middle? That's Mr. Tenehua, the judge saint by the speaker's chamber. The people facing Mr. Humpak should be Locus members. Only two of them. That's fewer people than we have. Uh, he looks familiar. Sign, I don't remember joining the Hawk Queens. Yeah, but he looks familiar. Alright, so he really was a locust. But wait, why is he standing on the side? Uh, it's about time. Let us get started. I'm sure that all present are well aware of the dispute, so I shall cut to the chase. State your case, Humpak. My thanks for the chance to speak. Everyone knows that the locusts have replaced us Hall Queens for some time now. Yet such grudges will not simply vanish. I'm sure it all goes without saying that we are still capable competitors. If we emerge victorious in another tournament, we would reclaim the glory that was once ours. But it just so happened that, on the eve of the event, our various contestants met with mishap after mishap. And each victim shares something in common. Their accident happened after using a locust managed crafting bench. And I imagine it's a stretch to conclude that the Locusts were the sole beneficiaries of the resultant injuries. As such, we can see that they had both the motive and the ability to put such a plan in practice. Mm, just one minute there, bro. I'm going to ask you to slow your roll. Motives and capabilities are one thing, but doing it is a whole different ballgame. Also, let's be real. Uh, you're not the ones who have beef with us. You know how it is. When you've got 99 problems, what's a couple more? You think we've got the time to go around exacting revenge one by one? And besides, I haven't heard of too many people getting injured after using Crash Mage lately. You sure it's, ju it's not just your persecution complex acting it up? There haven't been many cases lately, but they happened, didn't they? And then the fact 
the search targeted attacks. You saw what happened just as I, as I started investigating. It's quite unnatural, don't you think? Moreover, there was a recent victim, someone completely uninvolved in this conflict, in fact. Samak, that young lady over there, suddenly felt unwell after ingesting a potion crafted using one of your crafting benches. Just a few days ago, she had to be carried back to the stadium for treatment. The Outlander Trevor, Ignos and Paimon can corroborate her testimony, and the two of them were also present when I collect testimonies from the Hawkwing victims. Mr. Humpack speaks the truth. I did verify if the formal was suitable afterwards. I can only conclude that the crafting bench itself was faulty somehow. Yeah, speaking of what happened that day, we didn't use the crafting bench in the first place because it seemed weird. Here also are victim testimonies. Good judge that I guarantee that I gathered together with Ignis and Paimon. If you would, you too. Huh. I'll do some of the victims as one to you. Uh, has the mood change? I feel like I'm getting nervous too. Have I arrived too early? Uh, are we not at the exciting beat yet? Uh, or was there no one? I'm not concerned about the outcome. This just happened to be my duty. So many familiar faces, I can barely breathe. Uh, the sooner it is over, the better. Okay, you won't talk to me. It's Queen. What's the Hawking, Hawking's little helper looking for me for? I've got nothing to say to the likes of you. Where's the Hawking victim? That's much to me once you're ready. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh there was. Well, it certainly appears that this is no groundless accusation after all. Any objection? Objections? It's clean. All right, so let's just say that the crafting bench we are responsible for has malfunctioned. That and most amounts to what? Negligent management. I mean, not like we hogged all the glory for ages like the Hawkwings, so we are a bit lacking experience. Some mistakes are bound to happen, gotta give us noobs a chance, right? As for our forerunners, we've got nothing but respect, respect for them, but accusing us of sabotaging them, uh, now that's just too much. How about this? We'll actively discuss compensation with those who suffer losses due to our oversight. Will that do? Don't think I'm blind to the strumming or propping up. You clearly deliber deliberately targeted us Hawk Queens. There's no way this was unintentional or the result of some kind of negligence. And do you have proof of malicious intent? Uh, don't you think you can get that from victim testimonies? Don't think you can get that from victim testimonies. Of course I do. In fact, I've got intel from within your little gang. Uh, see the lodge pearls in the, uh, this invoice. The timing of the locus mass purchase of them coincides exactly with what with that of the Hawkwing's means mishaps. Now we all know the lodge pearls are not materials that need to be stockpiled in large amounts. A similar substance were found in the potions in in by which by the victims. Where did you get that invoice? From a member of your corrupt organization, whose conscience hasn't yet breath, uh, breathed its last, of course. Judging by his reaction, that sure hit him where it hurts. For safety reasons, I will not disclose this stout-hearted person's name, but I guarantee that Ian and Paimon were there when I received the invoice, and they can corroborate the event. We were indeed. We did encounter our special friend. Yeah, they even said it broke their hearts to witness such contemptible conducts by other locusts. Really, in here I thought we were famous for being earnest dullards. 
didn't know we had someone that eloquent on staff. I really like to meet him. Mm, anyway, let's just assume the list in your list in your hands is genuine. So what? It's circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial remains mere speculation. This invoice could just as well point to some rotten traitorous locals using our operation funds to buy lush pearls so they can build an artificial hot spring in their backyard. But they need that too. Uh. And wouldn't be wouldn't that be a terrible disgrace for us? Don't worry. I promise we'll investigate thoroughly and then give a full accounting to everyone. How's that? How's unsightly? You are really going to just deny everything to the bitter end? More like your evidence just doesn't cut it. How about this then? This picture clearly shows someone tampering with the crafting bench with a chest full of loach pearls next to them. You have a picture? Where's the chest full of lotion pearls? And isn't that Summer? Uh, that person sure looks familiar. Isn't that you, Summer? Uh, so it is. What a coincidence. Are you some sort of important figure to be under surveillance like that? Uh, was someone as ordinary me really need monitoring? I didn't expect such a move from you, to be sure. Uh, but please, everyone, think for a second. Is this stuff actually proving his claims, or is it simply more of the same old circumstantial evidence? Even if this picture could prove that someone tampered with the bench, can you prove the person to be a locust? And if I said that this picture was given to me by a locust, just like the invoice? Well then, would you in the time be able to vouch for that? No, I won't remember that happening. I cannot. This is the first time we're seeing this picture. And judging by your reaction, Sama, this is your first time as well, right? Nope, never. Sorry, Mr. Humpback, but we can give false testimony. So does this stout-hearted person you speak of truly exist? Or did you conspire with those fellows over there to invent this story out of whole cloth? We are a united lot, we locusts. Is that not how we overcame you, you scattered hawkwings? I find it difficult to imagine that we have a turncoat amongst us. We take on almost any request, but we've got principles too. We wouldn't lie at a time like this, right? Mm. So it does seem that the locusts are not above suspicious. This is not enough to make the fi a final judgment. If your stout hearted special friend could testify in person, Humpack, that will make things much simpler. But you claim that there is no such person. Yes, it's Queen. Absolutely, there is no way a traitor exists amongst our, among our ranks. Well, since this has reached an impasse, there is no point in continuing. Unless you have something to add, Humpack, let's call it for today. Still, before we adjourn, please submit the evidence you just presented. Hmm. Uh, it feels like things are getting weirder and weirder. It's fine, there's still a way. Yeah, but will he expose himself? This should be over soon, right? Hell, now we can finally go back. Hmm, just as I thought. Wait, could it be? I've got other tricks up your sleeve, by all means, don't hold back. Give me everything you've got. Still fight. You had to submit the local's precious invoice. Ready? Yeah. Uh, looks like this is the end of the line, handpack. No, we still... we can still... Mr. Tenehua, I'd like to identify the locks member who provided me with the intel. Uh, wait a minute, that's not a good idea, is it? But before that, I hope that the speaker's chamber can extend protection to the person I'm going to identify. That would be no problem, yes? 
what kind of protection they can provide when the guy probably be kicked out of the group afterwards we can consider it this question bench affair is an affair neither big nor small but the speaker's chamber nonetheless hopes for a straightforward end to the dispute if both sides agree to this I assure you that we will not allow any acts of retaliation from the locks. Of course he'd agree. He said it himself that our goals are, were aligned to expose evildoers and see them punished. In fact, I believe that he came here today precisely because he agrees. Isn't that right, Tozan? Hear that? He named you the traitor. Well, that's trouble. I got no idea what we're talking about, Mr. Humpback. I know you're in a hurry to find some way out, but you've got the wrong guy. What? What's wrong with you? Didn't you give me the crash bench picture yourself? That facility is managed by locusts, so only you could have taken that photo. Anybody was walking around there. We were just walking around there. Well, that's just the thing. I checked that photo, and the crash bench indeed isn't an one under our management. Uh, Pam was getting lost already. Uh, we first met Samak at the stadium of the Secret Flame, didn't we? So the bench must have been the one there, right? Exactly, I remember clearly. That was my first time in the stadium and I was happy, make, happy to make good friends. Uh, only to meet misfortune not long after. So, can we take to that to mean that the crafting bench was a fake then? A fake crafting bench? How can that be? Well, if people can fabricate evidence, is a fake crafting bench that unbelievable? You know, other than the question of motive. I mean, it's not like someone would pour effort into a fake crafting bench with which to frame as locusts, not caring if they were if they injured an innocent passerby in the course of fabricating their evidence. Okay, how exactly alchemy works here? Because they gather the materials there, but the question bench itself has to be magical, alchemical in some way to, to make the mixture work. You can just make alchemy anywhere. Before attempting to use uh, scummy tricks to try and create internal strife between us. Uh, but what about the invoice? Inus and Pam were both there when you handed it to me on the term in rest day. They can vouch for me. Let's not think too hard about those exchange of attitude first. Let's just tell the truth. We did indeed see him. Wait, you mean when the day. Wait, you mean when the day we had no term at home? Well, that's weird because, dear judge, Mr. Tenehua, I clearly recall we were soaking a hot spring on the people of Springs turf the very same day. But we saw him and so close to this place too. Hey, that's... Now that's crazy talk if you ever heard it. How can one person be in two places at once? But... I had to take a guess based on certain someone's nature. The one you saw might be a fake. I mean, with the crafting bench a fake and the witness a bust, are we sure we can trust the invoice? Are we sure it's not all nonsense? I'm sure everyone here can figure it out. This is all frame up. A frame up. That's right, where the crafting bench, the injured Somak and Usupaimu, who were roped into in as witness, you were considered all of this yourself, didn't you, Humpak? You know that the scattered Hawkwings weren't any match for us, that's why you had to resort to dirty tricks. Shame though, you were destined to fail the moment you decided to forge evidence. Lies will always be exposed, and now everyone will look upon your every word with suspicion. Uh, it won't matter what evidence you present. You'll be a f uh, will be a fake, just like before. That's what everyone uh, won't be able to help but think. There's no credibility left in the Hawkwings, and 
you're the one to blame. Serves you right, thinking that you could could indulge your, your selfish desires under the guise of justice. Nothing to say then. Uh, this is probably more complicated than expected. I'm afraid my judgment will have to wait for another day. Enos, Paimon, you were deceived into giving false testimony, so I shall not press charges against you this time. But my eyes didn't deceive me. I am many things, but not a perjurer. That's right. Uh, Paimon was there too. We saw it with our own eyes. And even talked to him. It was him for sure. So me to call me, the judge, a liar? No, we're calling the other guy a liar. You're the one choosing who to believe. Well, well we're not saying that. Uh, hey, say something, huh, Peck? Or was the thousand we met the, that day an imposter you put up to the job? Impossible. There was a thousand I know, and he did give me the crafting bench picture. I I mean, had, I don't know how he did it, though. So. The situation is, as he says, uh, I could not explain the most crucial mystery, and now my every word arouses suspicion. I've already, I've already utterly lost. Hey, chin up, Mr. Humpack. We warriors of Natalie don't call throwing the towel that easily. Like I said, I've got a good eye for people. I know you're not lying. His queen was confident when he spoke, and didn't seem like uh, one to purposely lie. But doesn't. Now that's an ex experienced liar. Okay, you're saying it's queen didn't lie, but he said he was a dozen at elsewhere that day. But from what happened just now, everyone must be convinced that Humpback was the architect of all this. Mm, Pam doesn't know who to trust anymore. Now, she's even doubting your words, Samak. Uh, is this what they call a crisis of confidence? Times like this, a little out-of-the-box thinking is needed. Out-of-the-box? How? It's not that Humpback intended this as a frame-up from the start. Rather, Tozan saw all this coming and struck first. Uh, hmm. So I mean that suspecting that Mr. Humpack's investigation might turn up something for real and actually hurt the Locust? Dozen pretended to help only to lure him into making the wrong decisions so he could use the case to destroy the Hawkwing's credibility. Hmm, that's definitely possible. Hello? This thing is over? A done deal, seriously. This is getting more ludicrous by the moment. What idiocy are you gonna spill next? I'm going to say we locked but out the judge and had him commit perjury. Well, he did turn toward an accusation towards us there. We didn't call him a liar, but he was saying that. I know you don't doubt your eyes, but neither do I. I doubt Mr. Tenejo is lying. Uh, there's only one possibility left, which is that you all saw Tozan on the same day, but in different places. But a person can be two places at once, can they? Well, just like with the cracking bench where we first met Paimo, there were likely two crafting benches at the stadium then. Two benches? So you mean that the real one was still in its original spot we, and we just encountered it a fake then? So you say it was a fake, but it wasn't much different from the real deal. If it hadn't been tampered with, it would have functioned normally. Exactly. So both crafting benches were genuine. Just like there is no fake dozen, instead there are two of him. Two dozens. Oh, Pamela knows where you're going with this. Uh, well, if I hadn't known the man himself for so long, I might have seriously considered your hypothesis, actually. Maybe I should give it some thought. Hmm. I'm afraid this nonsense is not worth wasting your precious time on, sir. Oh, come on, Tozan, I was just joking. No need to be so nervous. Anyway, we're done for today. Come back, it's clean. You stay for a bit. 
I'll need you to come with me to the speaker's chamber. Yeah, as for the rest of you, you're free to go. I got other things to do. See you. Person lives in silence. Okay, now we'll find his twin. For a moment there, but I thought we'd be able to, you know, Shazam, turn things around in at last second. An epic climax. But I guess not. Not that we could provide anything more than guesses though. What we really needed was two tussles right in front of us. Hmm, you know, we might actually have a chance at that. Have you heard the story of the foolish thief, Paimon? The foolish thief? Come on, don't keep Paimon in tender hooks. Uh, just tell the story. Alright, alright, relax. So, there was once a foolish thief who stole a gem from someone and hid in a place only he knew of. The owner of the gem only knew who it was who had committed the theft, not where the gem was hidden. But he was a smart man, so he said to the thief, Hey you thief, I know you stole my gem, so I so he nicked you right back. Don't believe me? Go see for yourself. The owner is smart, so that's gotta be against the Paimon. That makes the thief and the gem. Ah, oh, Paimon's got it. For sure this time. Come on, Inus. Let's catch up with Tozen. He'll be right to his gem hiding hole. We follow Tozen as he departs to catch up with him near the stadium of Sacred Flame. Yeah, but he. In that little story. Uh, he has a pick, we lost for a second, good thing, let's put uh, footprints. Man, that little story, the thief had to check that to confirm the gem. Uh, but now, Tozan didn't have to go check back on his swing. Lalepa? Lalepa, bad news? Uh, seriously? What are you yelling about? Stir my beauty sleeping, you did. Someone exposed us. I was able to smooth it over for the time being, but... I mean, we've got two thousands here. Twins, as I thought. Well, they look do look exactly the same. Seriously, bro? Did you invite those two guests over as well? Eh... Uh, Aren't they you here to get pranks, or are you pranking me? It's you two. To think you two set up shop right under the noses of everyone who goes to the stadium and didn't get discovered. Uh, is this what they call hiding in plain sight? You two uh, pieces of evidence. So we already know your secret. Come with us to the speaker's chamber and let us hear the truth. Uh, well. I'll have to request that you keep your li our little secret, big bro. You're the one who brought this on us, so you're going to own me. Sure. Uh, keep your secret. We're on the side of truth here. We're not that easy to bribe. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Consider anything about bribe. There's only one way uh, you can be sure accept the secret is kept. Uh, well, but I thought well. there would be some weird different block twist. The twin road is kind of... It's kind of obvious. This was new. Too simple. There. You lock the two of them in the cages for now. Oh yeah, how convenient that they had cages. Uh, it sure is more time. I'm honestly more curious. How made you think two on one would be fair odds? For you, I mean. You little brat, you know what you seem at all? Two fists against four is unfair, but you alone count for eight at least. To not be silly, Paimon counts four fists on your team and four on ours. Fair is fair and you lost square. Alright, you win this round, but what about it? Sure, I pull a trick or two. Uh, does that mean... Uh, Hempex Saint. You all saw how dumbstruck it was, everyone did. The whole Queen's credibility completely bust. Nothing you do will change that. Of course, we will. 
Uh, I've already won. Reveal my secret to the chamber all you want. You won't save the Hawkwings. That's not for me to decide. I have no interest in your grievance. Uh, that's right. We are on the side of truth, nothing more, nothing less. Judging your dispute is up to the speaker's chamber. We should be fine leaving them here for a bit, right? We got hoofed back to the stadium with the Tenehua. Yeah, we aren't two people. We couldn't send Paimon and I keep guard. It doesn't feel safe to leave them here. Let me out of here and fight us again there, you hear me? So you're here just to blow and revel in the humiliation of a defeated opponent? Yeah. That's not a hub I found. Huh. Something with which to commemorate this occasion. Yeah, I don't like leaving them here. Good thing is through here. You tell him the whole tale. I know Tosan for ages. Before he joined the Locust, even I never heard he had a twin brother. Could it be that he and his Tlalepa have been switching places all this time, and we just didn't notice? It's quite hard to believe, but I doubt you joke about something like this. Uh, you won't be laughing when you get to their hiding place. In fact, you'll be shocked. It's definitely much closer than you think. Indeed, this is something I must personally verify, and if that's the case, some old cases will require investigating, and I'll be busy in the coming days, I expect. Whatever the case, thank you both very much. But don't worry, we just don't like scammers. Speaking of which, Suma helped a lot this time, didn't she? Indeed, and I will remember it. Once the dust settles, I'll ensure that she's rewarded. Now, I love to stay in chat, but as I have important matters at hand, please excuse me. Again, thank you. And I hope things go well with you. I still don't like just leaving it there. That worked. That worked. We don't have to go check that back. Actually, I didn't pay that much attention where it was. Was it here? In here. I don't like the way we just left them there. Uh, not here. Where was the big dino? Damn it, I didn't pay attention on the map where I was when I left. Come on, if I find the dinosaur, I can find the place again. Ah, it's there. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Uh, I hope this doesn't take too long because this is here for a while now. An adventurer wants to seek out the legendary martial arts of Liyue. Yet no sooner had they set foot on the road than they run into mortal danger. I guess it's the guy from the Gohua clan who had a bunch of daily commissions help is there someone there so it's not gonna, gonna, gonna last much longer oh no gather reconstitute yeah, I didn't need all that for kill choose Okay, it's not the one from. It's not the guy from the Guhua. Feel safe, Thank you so much. I'm called 
Jezin. Uh, as you can see, I am an adventurer. Someone skilled as you is sure no ordinary person. Are you a well meaning knight? Or perhaps an errant hero wandering the lanes? Kind of both. I am but a passing traveler. I would prefer not to reveal my identity. Why that? Everybody knows me. She should know us. Paimon's name is Paimon and he's Enos, who also happens to be a member of the Adventurers Guild. So you are an adventurer after all, and quite an experienced one at that. You were able to dispose of such powerful monsters so easily. There really, uh, there really always is a big fish. Uh, whereas for me, in training, I can easily remember to, what to do, but the second I have to do it for real, my body just doesn't listen to me. Do I really have to train for another 3 to 5 years, like my teacher said? But I'll be totally humiliating. Uh, you'll be totally humiliating if I go back empty handed like this. Uh, is it? It's probably just because we have more experience. It took us a long time and a lot of battles before we got this strong. First, you need to be able to stay calm. Uh, it's also important to judge the situation. Yeah, you can tell the enemy is way above your pay grade. It's better not to get out. It's better to get out while you still can. Don't try to be a hero. Like us. I see. Now that's experience talking. It seems I still need to hone my skills as I travel. Are you on a journey as well? Yes, I'm planning a trip to Liwe. Have you heard of the martial arts of Liwe? I've heard people can fly from rooftop to rooftop and run up walls, harden their skin so weapons can't pierce them, and even split iron like it was kindling. Uh, I suppose... Yeah, the, the ninjas from Inazuma should be able to run rooftop to rooftop and run up walls just by training. But the skin is probably a vision. If I could find a master to teach me a thing or two, I, I bet this whole adventuring thing would be a lot easier for me. But to be perfectly honest, though I've been a member of the Adventurers Guild for quite some time now, this is my first time going on a long trip. Uh, and no sooner had I left the city than I found my way blocked by monsters. Can I really make it to Liu in one piece? We've been to Liu. Come on, we'll take you. Come on, we'll take you. Wow, has such a legendary colleague looking after me? You didn't even know who we were. How do you know we were legendary? There is hope for my journey after all. Still, you must be really busy for you to take the time to do this for me. Fighting for justice part of my daily routine. Yeah, but this isn't exactly routine. Justice is just a squad mission. Uh, helping the next generation of heroes is part of my job too. That was awesome, but let's let's go with that. In that case, allow me to thank you in advance for putting up with me. For a while at least, I studied the map carefully before setting out, so I'll do my best not to slow you down. Do we have to walk? No, can you just go there? Alright. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, uh, can't wait here for a moment. What is it? Did you forget something? And no, that I didn't, but look at the map, if we go any further, we'll have to, we have left Mondstadt. Uh, and there's no way to know when I'll return, when my teacher sees my message, he'll flip his lid. You've mentioned the teacher before, is he an adventurer too? Yes, when he first became an adventurer, he ran into some mythotrules out in the wild, during a melee, he... He let his guard down and got knocked out by an axe. He was lucky by a 
He was lucky a passing knight saved him and took him back. I get the knights are trained, but shouldn't adventurers be more skilled than the knights? The knights mostly should stay in a place defending. The adventurers go everywhere by themselves. He was so ashamed he decided to train his combat skills to the absolute max before he went out again. He's now been trained for a decade. He's, he always says the basics are the most important, but I just can't stay hacking away at wooden dummies every day. So I went out alone without telling him. Go back once you're stronger, do something he'd be proud of. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, I got it. Jasin takes out some dandelion seeds. Ah, oh, come on. There are three lines of text. It's just sending a message in the wind. For short customs, dandelions can carry wishes. I just wish that everything will go smoothly to on my journey. That I'll reach my goals and that my teacher will understand me. And certainly the animal Arco has heard your wish. Yeah, but he doesn't usually do anything about it. Yeah, time to forge ahead. So, oh, I don't know. Get those. Uh, that's the whole marsh up ahead, right? So beautiful. You won't see anything like this in Mondstadt. I knew that going on a journey was the right decision. Alright, uh, this doesn't happen every day, so let's take a picture together as a keepsake. Will I keep it? Hmm. Ah, Paimon is posing as well. I guess here we can get that over Simon's head. Oh, now I'm afraid she'll die. And this will be our, our memento from her. I'll treasure this photo of us together. Uh, I didn't realize how hungry I was until I relaxed. Not to mention it, Simon's time is starting to rumble too. That's better place to rest. Paimon light a fire and start cooking. Hey, you can't just order Paimon around like that. You order me around like that? What's wrong? Besides, it's not like you know what Paimon's cooking is like. She has never cooked. Let's take a look around and find a place we can score some food. That's so weird, Paimon has never cooked for us. There... Doesn't seem to be any suitable restaurants nearby. We're looking at it. It's not really that far. Given how much you've helped and how much I look up to you, I feel bad eating at just any old place. Speaking of food, mind the building on top of the giant rock up ahead be the famous Wang Shu Ying. I heard from a little merchant who does business most of that, that the food there is simply superb. Let me treat you to some to a feast as a thanks. Woohoo, let's go get some food. Hmm, I suppose there's some food we could get here as well. Hmm. Guess he inquires after the menu and the innkeeper and order several dishes. I heard that the cuisine has a holistic focus on appearance, smell and taste. It really does look so different. And Paimon's mouth is watering just looking at it. Together we savor the delicacies of Wang Shuin. Wow, wow, it's so delicious too. This is delicious too. And this and that. Ah, uh, and I'm so too stuffed to eat another bite. 
Nice, they usually keep all the food props are on the table. No, that was great. I'm completely recovered from traveling. Thanks so much for everything you've done. If it weren't for you, I can't imagine uh, how much more difficult it would have been for me to get here. Uh, one of the staff here told me that if I stay on this road, Liu Harbor will be just up ahead. I plan to rest here for a few days and ask around about where I can find legendary experts, then decide where I should go next. Uh, yeah, she's playing. Yeah, she's playing on training martial arts. The guys from Guho are kind of broke now, I and mean, I don't think they are well enough to train anybody. I don't know where Shinshu actually learned, trained from the Guho. So I really enjoy traveling with you. I can't keep imposing on you like this. Moving forward, it's up to me to get stronger so I can become an adventurer just as reliable as you. Uh, so we didn't spend that much time together, we had a good time too. I hope we'll meet again sometime. Maybe we meet again. I hope you find what you're looking for. Yeah, you too. I hope your travels go well. Chasing ways goodbye. Well, since we're here, why don't you take a look around the area? Maybe there are more exciting encounters awaiting us. Hmm? Okay, the quest is done, but... What, what, what does that mean? Am I supposed to find somebody... around? Come on, you, you guys will be just... Regular, right? Okay, yeah. She wasn't talking about Xiao, was she? And I didn't even pay attention to any of this quest. Uh, okay, just a moment because now I gotta check if there's something after the, the quest. Nobody say anything about. All right, but that was the bit was weird. The Paimon set up towards for us to check the area. Card for hire. Wow, you have the Google Sword. I don't remember there was any way for here. Oh, is there some time for... Ah, that! I haven't done those. Uh... Ah, I have a personal pass. Okay, let's just waste a bit of time here.
just because I'm already here, and I want to double check. Uh, is that gonna stay there? Okay, so yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, let's check another quest. Um, what do I have marked here? Mm -mm -mm. Let's see here. This tiny island. Ah, oh, come on. Oh yeah, I got a conch over here that I don't know what to do with it yet. Maybe a bit special. Chan shell. Hmm. Wow, what a pretty shell. Why it's on this platform anyway? Isn't that a drum? Oh, I should have spoken to you before. Uh, hey there, Kane. Kane? Uh, impeccable timing, you got a moment. Well, someone's there, well, I can show you hear what he has to say. Okay, so... We should start the quest first. Uh, that's right, you're outlanders from far abroad, yes? I just happened to see you go by, and I've got something I like your opinion on. From the perspective of a guest, have you ever thought that the life of people the springs lead is too laid back? Yeah. Uh, what do you mean by that? Well, something you should know is that our ancestors were warriors famed throughout the lands. Uenuku, the tree traitor of rainbow of the rainbow Tupac the giant renowned heroes all but nowadays uh, mentioned the people of the springs and people assume you are talking about hot springs is that such a bad thing well people also think about music <laughs> and about delicious fruit juice mm -hmm, that's all the same to me uh, this easy living will see our fighting spirit vanishing time mark my words and this can go on. That's why I told Leo Amina that we've got built a training ground to stroke that spirit once more. So what did she say? Uh, I don't get what you're saying at all, but if it's interesting, we'll go along with it. So this is it. The great training arena of the springs. Great to say. It's a bunch of wooden racks. Uh, and that's where you're in this Underestimating the genius behind the design, Kane. Uh, okay, I never see anybody calling anybody Kane like that. Did you think these words were just simple wooden racks? Uh, what are they if not that? So you mean, well, these racks are used in surfing training, which makes them far from ordinary. So they were racks after all. And speaking of which, doesn't that make your training surfing practice? Uh, how's that got anything to do with fighting spirit? Uh, that's where you, that's where your rating is surfing too low. Winning hard is uh, as hard as conquering the tides. Bet you're remembering the famous quote from the great hero Uenuku right about now. We don't know him. Put your horses right there, man. Never mind if you made the quote up or not. Forget fighting spirits. This is even at all related to surfing. Uh, do the details matter? Holding surfing skills, sharpening fighting wheels. Uh, that's a long standing tribal tradition and not to be abandoned. And now, now that we're here, my good outlander guests, wanna try some surfing training sometime soon? Why not now? Because this training ground isn't ready for use yet. 
uh, if you must know why, can uh, you see those flow current birds? Yeah, eh? They've got thick skin, sturdy flesh, and don't get hurt even if you boop them into the air. On the flip side, if new hands get booped into the water by them too, too often, they might lose interest in surfing altogether. Well, sure, can you consider this a special feature of this training ground? Huh, that's a great idea, really. Let me think. For example, if you could lure one of those big, fierce flow current birds into the first to the first rack, it could knock a newbie back to the starting point in one hit. Well, veterans who have mastered surfing would know how to get around it or use their strength to knock the same bird into the air. Uh, yes, the cruelty of surfing made a reality. Still, Liu Amna would like to decide to be open to a larger audience. So, save your suggestion for when we design a second one. Mm, that sounds kind of dangerous. You sure this is a good idea? Anyway, we just need to chase those flow current birds away, right? The way this training ground can operate normally. Huh, yeah. Hey, that would be great. Okay. Let's see, what should we do for someone who's helping to set up our great training arena of the springs? I ah, got it. Wrong climbs and makeshift wooden platforms that up near grabs a shell. Mm. You can have this. Mm. Hey, that was a shell we saw earlier. Alrighty then, Ignis, let's help get those these birds out of the way. Okay, so I won't use the shells here yet. There's a thing there. Ah! The other shiny shell is there. Oh, there. I uh, have driven all those flow current birds off. Huh, awesome. Good job, Kane. That squares our basic prep away. Now we can start testing your great turning area arena. Well, already. Alright, let's begin. Wait a bit, I got something else to do. Okay, I'm ready. Uh my history for of yeah. Now that's the spirit of our people our people lack right now, you know? Righty then, I'll mix the preparations now. Okay, now that. That works. Uh, such skill. If our kids were half as nimble as you can, they wouldn't need training. And here's a show we promised. Take it. Uh, just glad we could help. Still, now that you've finished testing, I've realized that there's a serious problem. Uh, what would that problem be? Don't you think it's, ju it's just a real regular surfing spot? And what did you think you would be otherwise? Clumination last. Well, um, you see the spirit doors over there, Kane? When Amina and I were discussing this whole affair, this old fox on device is still operating normally. Uh, if they could still be used to activate those spirit waves, we could read them straight up to the rainbow, just like when Nuka was did. I see. Why won't you just fly straight up there, spirit way or not, or no? And that's right, that's right. Actually, what are you getting competitive for? It's just a shame that these devices don't work right anymore. Normally, there should be inscriptions regarding the repair of these ancient flugsome devices near them. Maybe these are exceptions. And I'm a whole bunch of things, but flugsome scholar isn't one of them. So, I gotta call someone else to fix them later. Speaking of that, Shikia probably knows how to fix this, right? But we don't know where she is right now. Anyway, you have my thanks, Kane. Uh, that's kind of a shame. Why don't we snoop around the area? Maybe we can find some way to fix the spirit doors. What spirit doors are you talking about?
Oh, oh your bag was, was good before fighting spirit lately, I hope. Now, it's a shame I have a scholar who can repair the spirit doors, but it's alright. Just have to wait see for now. Uh, let me see, does this point me on the map? No. Preparing spirit doors quest. Oh, it's, it's those things. Oh, ah, okay, so... It, sh it should be that. Those shelves. This what just got, and I'm pretty sure the other one was wrong here. Ah, ancient inscription. Tini Lao of the Mestly me leaves this description that the scripts may not become boxed. Separate the flux of engravings into different colored shells and attach the shells to the under splurge reach, but it seems like you fix them by spirit shells by taking shells to it or something. I was not sure why, but her motivation is bleeding out a bit now, right now. Place. Okay. Did I complete? I thought they should complete a drawing or something. Didn't expect you to actually fix this do those doors. Where are the doors? What are you seeing that got fixed? Ah, the thing there maybe. Uh, you you got a spiritual right? Lots of it. Uh, how should Paimo put this though? We've reactivated the devices, but Paimo thinks they need partial readjusting. Any ideas? I blame Paimon for not flying me across. <laughs> and no worries, leave those details to me. You just come back around tomorrow, alright? Sure. into my eyes is ill-advised. No, you're back. Behold, the ultimate enhanced great training arena of the springs. What do you think, Kane? Ready to hop aboard the spirit way? Mm, Alright, let's begin. One moment, yeah. Let's begin. Alright, let's not wait longer than we need to, huh? Supposed to get that. I think I was supposed to get one there. Oh no, okay, maybe we'll go back there. Coming back to the beginning. Mm. 
Yeah, but I didn't get them all. There was some that I flew over. Then I spirit way shut again. Oh, uh, no worries, no worries. It was fixed once, it can be fixed again. We just dress self cane. Our current training area is meant to hone young people and fight sp fighting spirits. In any case, so this is more than enough. If you've got time and the mind to hone your spirit, feel free to come back. Um, there should be three chests here. So do I just go again? Okay, I think it's just that I didn't catch them all. Let's go again and catch the ones I was missing. Let me make sure my place is more than enough to start surfing clean ground, so I'll see if it is water. I have to... I have to fix that again. No? So what was it? Can I go again? There should be another chest here. Uh, where should I spread the way to fix? Spread the way to fix that. No, come on, I didn't get the mall. And there is supposed to be another one. Do we need to wait another day for it to fix it or something? Hmm. Okay, it seems like I'm done, but there, sh there are three marked on the map, and I only got two chests. I don't know. I don't know, I think there's one extra marked on the map. I guess the island, maybe. Huh. Oh. Oh, there's so much fish. What are you all doing here? Hey there, big bro Blowny, 
and your uh, white little sister, yes? Iwai and I are waiting for the Flocurrent Burns to return to shore. Not much else to do right now, anyway. Return to shore? Really? Ruru? Alright, come on, Iwai. You're a good kid, aren't you? Now be patient. There's no need to rush. Ru. Anyway, our original plan was to come down here to play, but no one else usually comes down here other than Uncle Rongo. So these are super secret base, or something like that anyway. But we didn't think that these birds would steal a march on us today. And that's why I've got all these fish ready to lure them over with. But current birds love this stuff. Really, they don't seem at all attracted by, by it. I see, so Paimo is in fact subspecies of full curt bird. Uh, Round like a Rolly Polly and fun of fish. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from. Mm hmm. Well, no. Anyway, back to the point. You haven't lured any flow current birds over at all. Yeah, could be that they are too far away and can smell the fish. If only we could get them ashore somehow. If Uncle Rongo was here, he'd say something like. Just book the all ashore, uh, why don't you? Why and I don't have the raw strength for that though, they blow us away instead, I bet. I can't talk to you, why? Alright, patience, patience, all we gotta do is wait for the flocker birds to come ashore. Uru. That's why booping these flockers birds is sharp showing. That works. Anyway, no such thing as flow birds that doesn't like fish. There's two left. Oh, okay, I didn't see here. Uh, I was wondering where was the other. No. Be the rest of them, right? Oh, they can't share the ocean with the birds. Thank you. The birds have been attracted by the fish, and why and I can go play now. The room, just glad I could help. I will seem to have been attracted by the fish as well. Oh, it was not. I will never be attracted to ingredients that haven't yet been cooked into a delicious dish yet. Yep, absolutely not. No way. You probably did in the past. See you around then. If you've got time, feel free to swing by and play, alright? Hmm. Hi. Oh, I can't hear you. Why? Uh, what should we play today? Perhaps should train with you, Iwai. Uru. Uh, aren't you feeling perky? Then let's start training with pooping at three flocorns birds flying at once, shall we? Uh, kidding, kidding. Still, you're going to need more exercise. They seem so polite sitting at the table like that. Okay, so I got that. Mm. Let's unmark this. No, oh, delete. And let's see, let's do something else. Uh, let's go here. I think there's there's one there that 
if it is a quest, it should be fast. Seems a bit far from everything else. Death Crater. There's no Junka Sorrows around. There, I hope this won't take too long. Oh! There's a gap in the world here. Kinda long one. Hey, it's not just some forgotten corner of the map. There's a quest right next to it. Oh. I really hope this doesn't get too long. It's a bit dangerous, boy. Old oh, aliens. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, you scared me half to death? What if I fell? <laughs> How would you pay me back? My hidden powers haven't been awakened yet, you know? I'm just a helpless little child. Oh, sorry, Pao didn't mean to give you a fright, but hidden powers? Would you develop some super duper ultimate technique or something? Look, it's called a hidden power for a reason. If it's hidden, how the heck would I know what it is? He's got a point. So young and so full of balony, yeah. Look, let's put all that to the side for now. Can you help me find the star shards? I saved it up quite a bit of pocket money from helping out Mama Coco. And you can have every last more. Sure. Uh, well, since you're asking for us to asking us for help, could you at least tell us your name? By the way, Paimon's Paimon is Zygnus. The name I use now is nothing but a code name, that's all. But everyone calls me Orko, so you might as well too. Now, about those star shards, will you help me? So, just what is a star shard? Doesn't sound like it's something you can come by too easily. There are shards split off from the stars that fell from the sky. As long as you find them and return them to their original spot, you can regain the power that was lost. The original spot is the sky. Look, a uh, fallen star is just down below, so there's gotta be some leads to find star shards down there. Come on, please give me a hand. Okay, okay, I'll help you out this time, but still though, star shards and lost power and whatnot, that feels like something out of a novel. You've never even heard the story of Koilor and Ukuku. My dad told me it, it a million times. Uh, I've got it completely memorized. I'd be happy to share it with you. But let's go down and take another take a look together first. Isn't it a bit dangerous for the kids to Come down, climb down here. Phew, I never made it by myself, thank you. We carry him back down here. So this is the falling star. If you look at it up close, I'm still power searching for my body. What a weird rock. Uh, uh, really? Hey, wait a second, we haven't even found the scattered fragments yet. Speaking of the fragments, Aren't there really close to them around here? Paimon doesn't say anything. So what's next? We had to rely on our raw strength, hit it with all the might of the at the battle stars, and maybe we'll find out where the missing fragments are. Brute force can solve most problems. <laughs> That's what my dad says. <laughs> but I still haven't awoken my strength, and I don't have my own sword either. So. You're all I've got. Before we break stuff. Uh, oh. 
What greater pleasure is there than the unexpected? I don't know. Shouldn't break that. That will be happy for sure. Yeah. Hopefully, there's no radiation poisoning the hut. Look, the shiny patch. And you said that way too fast. But I suppose you can go there. Star shard, strange fragment. The the orco turned a star shard. Yeah, but that with that crater over there it does seem to have come from the sky. Uh, how many shards do I need? That should be all, right? This commission was way easier than Paimon thought it would be. It's still, do miraculous powers like that exist? Paimon was pretty skeptical before. Want to awaken some hidden powers too, do you? Of course, we wouldn't make things really easy if you had, say, a super treasure seeking ability or the power to just destroy any monster with one punch. Come on, Inus, wouldn't you want that? I want more power. I'm strong enough as this, I don't need it. I want more power. Ooh. Come on, hurry up and put the fragments back on the star. Wow, I wonder what power will awaken. Maybe I'll even ascend to the sky. <laughs> Plus star, short to power. Okay, nothing changed. Are you staying? What? And do you feel any believable power? Not really, no. The big rock hasn't changed a bit. No mysterious glow, not even sudden shaking or just cracking right open. Uh, did we use the wrong incantation? It sounded right to Paimon though. So we occasionally run into situations like this when we're exploring ruins. If you misremember the password or signal, the mechanism just won't respond. Weird, I was told saying that still will liberate the hidden power. And the person who told me closed their eyes and started moaning in pain soon after they recited it. Not only that, but afterward he gained a magic eye that could tell the value of gems. So cool. These some symptoms sound familiar. Oh my, I finally found you, you, you silly little goose. Uh, how did it up out here? Your father's been worried sick about you. I've told him I go back when it's time to eat. He he have to tell you. Uh, still talking back? You two kids down there. Don't you tell either? Who knows what kind of dangers might show up if you tell it there. You bring Orko back up and explain the situation. Uh, those are just ch childish fantasies he was talking about. Sorry you had to get involved in his mischief. He's got quite naughty, as nobody really disciplines him. After all, his mother isn't around and his father's eyesight is poor. I try to help out as a neighbor, but I haven't got unlimited energy either. Oh, so that's it. Paimon knew it. There's no way something like that could be true. Imagine just collecting a few stone fragments and getting mysterious power. Uh, I'm not being naughty, it's for that. Don't be so bird brained. It's all because you won't listen to those older and wiser. At least you are safe and sound this time, but did you ever start to think what will happen if you got in some real trouble someday? Uh, enough. You just behave now and come back with me. Fine, but first, here you go, you two. We did agree. Here's the moral I promised. Do take it. We wouldn't want him to be someone who isn't true to their word. Well, since you put it that way, we won't say no. Yeah, maybe we'll need your help in the future. 
we failed we failed this time but that doesn't mean we won't succeed next time right huh you little munchkin come on mama coco let's go that's waiting thank you both uh, let see you next time all right but still that's a weird rock doesn't really look like a rock But it doesn't look like a spaceship meter. So I'm not sure. Alright. Mm, yeah, I guess it's a good place to stop. Uh how long? Seven days. Let's try to get one in each. Not yet. I got none. Yeah. Alright then. So I'm off. Uh, and I guess next time I can complete the remaining quests around the map. Up. 